Previously on Gears. We used to protect Cox settlements. Now we're about to raid one. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Lieutenant, you've been busy. Look, our village hasn't had power in weeks. We need this fabricator. I don't care about the goddamn fabricator. You're taking my people. What happened? The short version? The cop is on his way. You promised me you could steal that fabricator without provoking Jin. This has nothing to do with a fabricator. Then what did you do? Jin accused us of taking her people. Yeah, whatever that means. Get the fabricator to the power station and install the inverter. You realize Jin's coming back, right? We need to leave now. Mom! Hey, listen. You need to hide, and then you need to run. <laughs> Look, you know as well as I do that he can help. Our village was attacked. And my mother was taken. Taken? Dad, you should look at this. Shit. Uh, guys? I thought you said you weren't running from the car. Yeah, that wasn't completely accurate. We need to get through that fort to the abandoned Osborne mine on the other side. And locust bodies in there after the war. If your swarms related to the corrupts, we'll find out there.
not ready for this. She can barely keep her eyes open. Don't worry about her. She'll be ready. Eight or nine minutes in. Nightmares. Does it get better? It gets tolerable. as it is. What Jin doesn't know won't hurt her. This is my call, all right? If the First Minister doesn't like it, she can yell at me. Which she almost certainly will. Just tell us where to go, Control. I'll do my best. But remember, no one's been in that facility for like 25 years. Yeah, that's pretty evident. You're not there to buy a timeshare. You're there to launch an old Amrathon prototype. And your intel says one of the silos is still intact, right? Yeah, as far as they can tell. Just get Dave to a functional control room. He'll handle the launch sequence. Baird? It's confirmed. The Dura burial site is active. Shit. Okay, Condor's in the air. Let me know if you need reinforcements. We get it handled for now. Delta out. Come on, we gotta find one of those silos. Assuming the swarm haven't written. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, these headaches. I'm okay, all right? Let's just find a silo. For the record, you don't seem okay. I'll live. Straight's not an option. How much rocket base is even left? Let's find out. You guys go right, Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. Sounds good. Stay in contact. All right. Control room's clear. Nice of you guys to show up. Oh, no problem. Is that rocket attack? It is, believe it or not. Good. Then find a port for Dave to plug into. If it checks out, he'll initiate the launch. It's all yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized. First stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Error. Delta, we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Oh, of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird, options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go. Hydraulic external power to on. No. We get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You got to get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Ignition, engine one. God 
Damn it, James! I have got to learn to stop following you. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's get that hatch open. Sam, we're ready for extraction. How about I see Jen first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call her what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary. And you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um, yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. The thing is, you two are more alike than either of you want to admit. data is in front of you, Damon. What? What? Th that's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. He cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy <sighs> degrades. Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. 
On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah, uh, what's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm, uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh-huh. And... And he's... all yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Dave, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Come on! Hey, Foz. How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or... Or a stick you use to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man. Let's just grab the jack component and get out of here. No, this will be fun. How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Hey, here's the thing, Foss. The bottle's far with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming, but explain. Shit, false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? Nah, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. It's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. For both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you You to don't get to talk about her. If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. Oh. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the All Fathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister. Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in.
Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means. Explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah. That'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Oh, we're under attack! We need immediate help! Please, slow down. No. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it! Go! You realize I'm the ranking officer here, right? And we'll reinforce Carmine at the town hub. I can't believe we're back here. We did our duty. You need to get over it. Get over it? Guys, not the time. Cole, let's see what we're dealing with. I might not have a problem with shooting innocent people, but I do. Innocent, huh? Innocent! So people throwing firebombs are innocent? Hm. 
good to know. Both of you, knock it off. Wait, I heard about this. That was you three? Not three. One of us managed to keep his DBs under control. What the hell happened? We identified an insurgent element and eliminated it. No, you opened fire on a protest. Every herd needs a good culling. I know who I call from this herd. Plaza secure. Continue the evac. Copy that, Delta. We're coming out. Got it. All right, evacuees, listen up. Double time it to the Minotaurs. No personal items, no luggage. What is death? No personal items. Carmine. Man, you kept a lot of people alive today, Sarge. Ha <laughs> ha! The grub killer retires, baby! Grub killer, swarm killer, whatever. Yeah, rescued by my old trainees. Uncle Clay! Yeah, and now I gotta get up again. Was getting worried. You didn't report back. Radio died. And these guys pulled me out of a jam. Guess I owe you twice, Phoenix. Now what? It's Delta. You're breaking up. We're at the theater. Say again? You gotta get out of there, kid. They're letting the sediment go. Wait, can't we use the Hammer of Dawn? Not when I can't target the damn thing. Just fall back to the main gate. Baird, we're stuck on the other side of town. Phoenix, Lizzie here. You're at the theater? Lizzie, thank God. Affirmative. I've been diverted like six times. I can pick you up. Coming your way now. We'll be here. Delta out. In here, come on. Whoa, 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 it's us! We, uh... brought company. Boom! 
Ralph's Odell. See any friendly faces you recognize? Maybe that's the uh, peaceful protester who broke my nose. You deserve worse than a broken nose. Why don't you show me what I deserve? Stop! Yeah, enough of this shit! You're a goddamn coward! A coward? Wow. Well, have I got news for you? Bart. Not. Guess who ordered the first shot, Dell? Directly into those peaceful protesters of yours. Yeah, that's right. Lieutenant Pedigree there. Guys, come on, guys. I, look, I, I mean, they were throwing incendiary... But the whole thing was confusing, all right? I, I didn't mean to have it happen. Never mind. Gather's here! Look, we can discuss this later. Come on.
King! Should we bring him along? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, come on. So what's your issue with Jack anyway? Besides spending half my life hiding from Cogbots? No issue. See, I told you it's not you. <laughs> That's lovely. It's your headache again, isn't it? Del, I'm fine. He's not gonna listen to you. How about you let him decide that? Hey, it's her. Your funeral. <laughs> Can't come here with cog weapons. Hand them over. You know who my father was, right? Who my mother was? And yet, you're the one in cog armor. Go figure. Man, we're not giving you shit. Just... do what they say. Fine. You can pick these up on the way out. I'm through! He's out back by the steam farm. Try not to cause any trouble. That's up to him. Let's just get to the steam park. Hey, we're looking for the chief. Old guy, smells like beer. You seen him? Kate. Uncle. A lot of cogs been out here to make their pitch. Never imagined they'd send you. Guess they thought you'd hear me out. And what do you think? I think you need a new decorator. Yeah, you're supposed to keep them away. How's that working out for you? Huh. Not too well. It's good to see you again, Kate. You too, Uncle. Now go pack up. You're leaving. Am I? Look, man, we've convinced every other village to enlist. You're the last holdouts. Cog, outsider, look, it doesn't matter. It's time to fight these things together. No. It's time we end this conversation. I'm sorry, young ones. You can find your way out. Uncle. My mother's dead because she thought we could make it alone. So go ahead, send us away. But if you do, I'll be back to bury whatever's left of you and the people behind these walls. And I think you know it. <sighs> Shit. How often do they attack? Lately, every day. They do that every day? No, they don't. Come on. Okay. 
Thanks, J.D., for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? Oscar's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. Is your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you are coming back to Noafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice?
Just us now. So what's in here anyway? A fast way out of this fucking place. Hey, if you want some time, you know, we don't have to leave right away. Yeah, we do. Okay, then we need some light. me off most of all seeing JD pal around with Foz like when did that happen Jin's had him running missions together for months what do you expect Kids, you read Marcus you back in New Affair yet just landed are you close to New Hope almost question how will we know when we're there officially New Hope never existed it was disguised as Jameson shipping depot so look for tracks and follow. Tracks. Got it. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jin know about this place? Every first minister's known. And they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. You went off your own. Off on your own. You <laughs> Who could trust you now? Let's find a way out of here. Well, this is the place, but the entrance is blocked. Let's find a way around. Help me get this open! Come on, Jack, let's go! Yeah, we're inside now. Main building, I think. Alright, you're looking for a biogenetics lab. The entrance is a long hallway with a circular door at the end of it. Roger that. We'll let you know when we find it. Help me lift it. Squeak through, buddy. You too. Okay, those are definitely not stasis tanks. But what the hell are they? Not good. I can tell you that. Uh, uh, that didn't feel great. Jack, give us light. Hey, kids, how's it going? Perfect timing, Marcus. Well, no lab or stasis tanks, but we're in some kind of prison cell. Prison? You're seeing stuff I never did. What I heard, Niall Sampson, the scientist who ran that place, using the children of emulsion poisoned miners for experiments. He imprisoned and experimented on children? I warned you about what you learned there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He preserved himself as an AI construct. 
Find the lab. Find Niles. Looks like Niles had a favorite test subject. Observation. They were what? This is disgusting. All of it. Yeah. Those poor kids. So, you got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? I think I might ask about the whole imprisoned children thing first. Okay, fair enough. And then? And then... What does all this have to do with me? All right, Marcus. He made it. Look for a switch to activate his AI construct. Then, put on your tinfoil hats. Marcus, that didn't work. What? You it is. Oh. Will we listen? Did you listen? Are you listening? That's Niles, all right. Still batshit after all these years. Jack, get over here and pull whatever files you can. <laughs> oh, hello, naughty fellow. Hey, is Jack gonna get some weird virus plugged into the thing? Ah, oh, shit. Most of the files are corrupt, but several of them mention something called Kadar. That mean anything to you? No. It does to me. I'll have Bear take a look. What was that? Oh, shit! Come on, Jack! The final cleansing. Has it begun? May I terminate? No! Get it! Someone once said to me, Nighty Nights. what I said earlier. New hope? <laughs> Not pleasant. Agreed. I think I've seen enough of this place for today. Or tomorrow. Forever. Let's get back to the skiff and see if we have a solid lead. Did Bear get anything out of that data? Plenty. Right before the last of the scientists left New Hope, someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. Problem is, the message's origin point was scrambled. Okay, then. We track the message back to the source. To whatever comm towers are passed through. <laughs> Knew there was a reason we keep you around. Just head out and see if you can find any towers to start the trail back. Doors just ahead! Tower's almost completely frozen over! Hey, watch, watch, watch. The necklace. That's a locust symbol. Yeah, 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 I saw more. And if you had a choice, I was not going to mess that. Well, that. She, 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 Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's me. Yeah, I... I just want to find that damn Kadar lab. Right. Well, we just got to access data from the command console. Good job, Jack. Let's get Jack connected to the console. Get in there, Jack. Mm -hmm.
security systems on the fritz. Let's just check the transmission data before it locks us out. That's one tower down. Yep. So time to find the other one. Sure you don't regret coming along? What? Are you kidding? You're doing everything I love. Skipping. Freezing my ass off. So, I have a question. Oz, has he always been like that? Always. Gotta be the toughest. Gotta be the fastest. Gotta be the smartest. But not the smartest? <laughs> In that area? In that area alone? Oz has got a realistic view of himself. There. Got another signal match. That's gotta be the lab. So we've got enough to find it. You gotta run a formal trace, but yeah. You wanna tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move. You ready to go find that lab? Yep. Ready. Look, I gotta ask him something. Once you get yourself answers. Yeah. What then? I mean, what happens next? What are you actually asking? Look, I know you're not exactly thrilled to be in the cock. Hey, if you're worried, I'm gonna run off or something. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not worried you're gonna run off. Oh, no? Well, maybe you should worry. At least a little bit. Oh. Great. When we get to the skiff, let's tell Marcus what we're doing. Okay. But I've got another question. If you didn't, where would you go? Mm, pre or post swarm outbreak? Hmm. Pre. Some place with a beach. And post? A bunker, five miles underground. Okay. You got room for two? Aren't you forgetting Jack? Yeah, but he doesn't take up much space. What about you? Where would you go? You know what? Marcus, we got a location. If there was a lab in Mount Kadar, we'll know soon enough. Okay. But I'll say it again. That mountain was Grub Central. We don't know what's there. Just promise that if you run into something you can't handle, you'll let me know. Appreciate that, but we're doing all right so far. Delta out. Jack, pulse. Mm -hmm. Whoa, there's something under the ice. Nice work, buddy. That's gotta be what we're looking for. But how do we get down there? Not easily. Ice this thick, it's like concrete. I'm not sure if this helps, but Baird says there was an old mine in that area. Old mine? Blasting caps. Explosives. I'll push the coordinates to Jack. Thanks, Marcus. All right. I guess we got a potential solution. Old mine it is. You know, Oscar used to take me skiff sailing on the salt flats near Howlow Bay. You guys went that far to sail? Yeah. And there was no cog left down there. Nothing. Just ruins. We're really gonna miss him. I know. Me too. Ian and Rosco said it's true. This place got wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> Sure looks like they fought them hard in here. There's no bodies. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that big drill ran on phosphorus fuel. Okay. So. So, when you expose phosphorus to oxygen or water, it ignites. And that could solve our ice problem. And let's take what's left. Jack, you good hauling that phosphorus? Great. Glad to hear it. See? It's growing one, isn't it? Jack's good people. You just filled his small mechanical hunger with joy. Thanks for being here, by the way. If you weren't with me, this would be... It would be hard. Wait, are you thanking me or, or Jack? Jack? I'm sorry, wasn't that clear? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Wait, hold on. What? You said this stuff... It's called phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah? Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... 
oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on. Safety first. Radio tower. Means the lab's not far. Come on. Sooner or later, they'll know who you really are. You don't belong with us. You with You with all the truth. Why do you think that is you don't belong with us? What are you resisting? Don't. Help me. Stop the little fighting. Something dangerous. You're this upset? About a pinprick? I have sensitive hands. Proper identification is required for entry. Your entry has been denied. Good day. A uh, what? Niles? Is that you? Proper identification is required for entry. Proper identification. Hey, you can give it a shot. But it's gonna hurt more than you think. Home. Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage game. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. This way, please. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind, terribly? Miserable little garbage can, mother- Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find a generator. Niles, really looking forward to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. Del, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Home. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung, but it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh well, water under the bridge. Please, this way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? 
Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this home. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. What the hell? The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miners' children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. Ah, you may find this especially. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile. A problem for obvious reasons. But the locust were different, highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here. I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira. Or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Kate, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I can't. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. 
You think or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me something. My grandfather. Who was it? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Rayna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Rayna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. Would you please follow me? Almost there now. I'm curious. How does it feel to have your life's work turn on you? I choose to view it differently. The Locust longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amp... This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood.
she okay? She is fine. Patience. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Life. What? It, it wasn't really her, except except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on, he went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. been done cannot be undone. I told you I'd This planet is now theirs. Look out! It was real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here.
If they've really got their queen, and Nas is right about what happens next, we need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. And speaking of one of a kind, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functional? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and, uh, come and see me before you go. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay.
don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like... Like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best of him. Okay, let's go. Ah! All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? The old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being all reasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's got to be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Uh, no virus can stop Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Paddock, I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Gotcha, we found the nose cone. Yeah, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. <laughs> Who knew putting a rocket together would be so difficult? Hmm. Let's see. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah, pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? 
Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. Hey, Paddock, you still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on lunch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Garazian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. All right, let's head out. Boss, uh, as of Asgari, are you feeling any, I don't know, connection to this place? No. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. I mean, growing up around here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes. No, I'm good, mate. You know this always wasn't a desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes! Well, they haven't dropped it yet! That's good, right? And we're through! Onto the turntable! Shit, a wind flare now? Seriously? Huh. On the bright side, we get to see how those sand formations are made! Not really a bright side, though. All right, we're through the storm. Hey, Kate, nice driving. Or skiffing, or, or whatever you call it. Guys, we're getting close. Those are launch towers. And check it out. There's the rocket. Is that... Is that mounted on some kind of train? Then that's how we'll get it back to the hangar. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Beautiful. All that's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Oh, reckon that train's a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff. All right, everyone, hold on. Here we go. Why does everything keep leaving without us? Paddock, Baird, the rocket's on a train headed for the hangar. Wait, what? It won't make it. The bridge has to be lowered first. Can't your people do it? They're not there anymore. Why did you send the train back without lowering the bridge? Because we... we didn't... Oh, forget it. We'll lower it ourselves. This is a bridge control house. Bring us in close. No! The bridge controls are wrecked. Now we bring it down the old-fashioned way. Grab that sailboat. Okay. What the hell am I shooting at? That big clown. Don't bring it down. Straight coming. Got it. It's coming down. Last one's down. We're good here. Good news, children. I don't know how you did it, but my scouts have just informed me that your rocket train safely entered the hangar. Glad to hear it, Paddock. That's the end of my good news. You have another task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? What's for the hammer of dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. So where are these beacons? In the southwest, at Cosmonaut Training Facility. And to be clear, if we don't secure those beacons, we don't have a hammer of dawn. Okay, we're on it. Anyone else surprised by the size of that rocket? It's massive! Uh, rockets are big. You know the ballistic coefficient you need to accommodate atmospheric drag? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's high. That's the size. So, what's it like to know so much about stuff no one else cares about? Go ahead and abide in your ignorance, man. 
Not my problem. Glad we agree. Cheers. So, Kate, your headaches. They're really gone? Yeah. As soon as we killed the matriarch, they ended. Haven't had one since. And, and this idea you have about your mother being... It's not an idea. I saw her. I saw whatever she is now. Okay, we're in. So where the hell are those beacons? Let's check the security cameras. Shit. Regents are in here, too. Guys, look. The beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Can't believe that knackered thing still works. <laughs> or not. Well, that worked out, didn't it? Maybe. We need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. Well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. Sending him to my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen. Well, there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So, why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities and said, oh, hello, we'll take that, piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. Paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Bear trusts Paddock, we trust Bear. It's all by the transit of property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transit transitive what? Books, Faz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. And honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Or three. Hey, I've noticed something, that the swarms seem different. Smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Airfield's just ahead. Work the skip as close as you can. I think it's kind of heavy. And so we meet again. Let's get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot frame. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Uh, hey, Baird. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Ophira. Yeah, right. 
Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. All right, Delta. Back on the skip. Smoke up ahead! Shit. That's yeah, a convoy, all right. All right, let's get in there and see what we can do. All right, we're clear. Now let's check on the beacons. Well, they don't look damaged. Eti Zimidak. Zaboro Pal Ekindur Eki. Ekindur Eki. Paddock, mate. You hearing this? It says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry, they'll be well armed. So go, deal with your rocket. All right, Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, eight out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh, boy. Let me get to this thing. Lost his rocket. And there we are. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. This better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! <laughs> There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! from the back of a fucking train. Oh, oh, right, right. Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Can means I... we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Oh, and then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work.
Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the jacket and face in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries. 
and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delsa, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. Off to you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids. Gather around. And now, observe. Sure, a nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, yeah, sir. The swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find it? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10. Oh, damn it! They're here. And we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. You can help us end this. <laughs> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back for Vasco. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. Do. 
enemy's close. Let's get through this mess. There! Echo Squad, can't land! Our Raven's taking fire! Just set down as soon as you can and get your beacon in place. By the way, that goes for all squads. We got a lot of heat signatures. Lima, hold it back! No way to get to the wall! Just in time, Delta! God damn it! We got a swarm at! Yeah, plant the beacon! Let's use the hammer! Negative, negative! Delay that order! You gotta place it in the building across the yard! Paddock, you good? Eh, hey, I've had worse days. Our beacons got in the Raven Wreckage. Maybe your toaster can get it down. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks right. Our plan was to place the beacon behind the tomb. So go do that, and I'll guard the front. Oh, and if I die, it wasn't terrible working with you. Likewise, Paddock. Let's go, Delta. Okay. We gotta put this thing exactly where Baird needs it. I'm 
sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. Judy. Judy, I know. I know, and I'm so sorry. Hmm. He was my friend, too. Now we have to go. Jack. Lights, please. Let's just find a way out of here. I do not need a ride. Hey, Del, look who's saving who again.
Minotaur! We'll cover you!
She'll be back. I know. But not if we find her first. <laughs> 